Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to A Drive With Me. And today I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit so you can see Alice. Um, I'm joined with Alice and hello. Fab Han, Hi. who have been quite requested to be in A Drive With Me, but I just thought there would be like no opportunity. Turns out I'm not actually driving today, as you can tell, clearly. Uh, Alice is driving because we are in Lincoln for the weekend with her. If you haven't seen the vlogs, mine have gone up, Alice's have gone up, Hannah's gone up, so there'll all be linked below. Um, but I asked on Instagram for a couple of Q&A questions so that we could answer them while we're driving because we're going to see a cute puppy. Um, so definitely watch the vlogs if you want to see the dog. But yeah, I asked on Instagram so I'm just going to like read some out that I think are good. I've never asked on Instagram for Q&A questions actually so this is the first. Do you all want children and if yes, how many do you want? Ooh. How? If you need to answer yeah, I've answered this question a million times on my channel. I do want children. I want at least three. Three children. At least, yeah. Fair. I think I want like two children. I go through phases between wanting kids and not wanting kids. But I think probably I would have children because I feel like everybody just does. And I'd like a girl and a boy because I've been brought up like with a brother and it's like nice it's been like one of each. I think that's how I would want it for my kids. So yeah. I yeah. kinda want three, I think, because I always wanted another sibling. Yeah. So I want three. I always I wished I had a sister so I want at least two Yeah girls. true actually, I think if I had more than two I'd like to have four so that it was an even number because I wouldn't want yeah. like, a child to be left out Can you remember how old you are when you first started wearing makeup? 12? 13? I think I was like 12 But it was only like seven. concealer and a bit of mascara Yeah like bad makeup Yeah, yeah. Still kind of do only wear bad makeup <laughs> But I look at some people I'm like I wonder what my makeup will start looking like that <laughs> Samantha said what are your plans for next year? Next year? Oh my god, I don't know my plans for this year. <laughs> I think they mean for us like next like the coming school. year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Alice and I are both like leaving education this year. Like Alice is finishing. Yeah, I'm finishing uni. And I'm finishing sixth form. I'm living. <laughs> Hannah's just, just alive, Hannah's doing life. Um, at the moment, I feel like my plan, I mean, you've pr probably seen this in my vlogs and stuff, is to do the course I've been looking at at Leeds Art University. But I mean, that could all change again because it's me and I am rubbish at making a decision. <laughs> Tell me about it. I I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna graduate, maybe get a job. Um, I like doing design work, so maybe you're really that. good at that. Yeah, but and then I'll study YouTube, but kind of incorporate design, I guess. Don't really have a major plan, to be honest. What's your favourite memory that you've had together? <laughs> I feel like we've had so loads many. of laughs. I liked when we just spontaneously decided to go and stay overnight in London. Yeah, weekend. that was really just good. Just for a sleepover. Yeah. Like two years ago now, nearly two yeah. summers ago, we just put in the group chat like, "Do you want to go to London next week?" We just booked a hotel. Yeah. That was so good. It was a really good couple of days. Like, I'm living with that wild. I know. <laughs> Can you imagine us trying to do that now? We'd be like, no, we're all busy. Yeah, yeah we're just time. So let's plan four months in advance. But and last time we were in Lincoln, when it was so sunny, we were all sat yeah. there. Yeah, that's so, so nice. nice. Yeah, I think my favourite memory ever is when we were by the like Tower Bridge, taking those photos yeah. in the dark. Oh, like, yeah. I really liked that. Yeah, it's good times. Where do you think YouTube will be heading in the future? Who knows. I think it's so <laughs> difficult to answer that because I don't yeah. even know what's going to happen on YouTube next week. Like something could happen that would be like shocking and I wouldn't even be surprised and yeah. be like, yep, fair enough, that's just YouTube being YouTube. Like, I think this is my prediction, by the end of next year, YouTube will basically just be vlogs, no more sit down videos. I think that's vlogs I are think the future happen. of YouTube, definitely. Yeah, I definitely watch more vlogs. So, yeah, yeah, me too. I think it's mainly because that's more like relatable and people aren't as interested anymore in like fake like prank videos or whatever. How do you guys manage to stay in touch seeing as though you actually live really far away from each other? I think we all just mutually know that even if we don't get in contact for a while we're still like... Yeah, so I get tweets like all them. the time being like, have you fallen out? I'm like, no, we're just yeah, really we're just, busy. Yeah, like, and like when we do message or talk it's just like it always is. Like, yeah. It doesn't feel like we've not spoken. Yeah, it's not yeah. like loads of, loads of time has no. passed or anything. We're the type of friends like, we could just not text at all. If we saw each other, it would just feel exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. Like, it doesn't feel awkward. Yeah. It doesn't feel like, no, oh, has there been like some beef here? Like, it's yeah. just because we're all doing such different things and we're all living in such different areas of the country that it is really difficult to find time where we're all free for long enough to be able to like actually spend time together and it's not like a fleeting visit. So that's why this weekend is actually really nice. It's been so yeah. nice. Like last night we spent hours just talking, talking about anything. Talking and catching up. And it was just nice. And it was, it was, just, it was really just no nice. Country. Just sit and talk. Yeah. You? If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you want to live? I'm so bad at answering this question. Same, I actually yeah. think about this a lot. I always used to say London, but it's really gone off. I've yeah, really gone yeah. Off it. I used to be like, oh, I want to move to London. I like, need to live in London. Yeah. And then I'm like, now that I'm a bit more adult and like I, I understand like house pricing and yeah. like yeah. cost of 
I'm like, no, I don't really want to do that. Like, I love London as a city, don't get me wrong. And if I was really rich, then I would live there yeah. probably. But. It's just the practicality of it. And like, mm. I like having like the country around yeah. me and just city. And, and yeah. I'd like to move my whole family to Yorkshire. So really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel honoured. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, I really like the country part, like quiet little village. That's my ideal. Come and live in Beverly. Only if my family came with me, though. I no. can't see. I think I would like. I have always lived on like the outskirts of a city, but the issue is I don't like living near Hull. Like Hull is not a city where I'd want to like live and visit and stuff like that. Just because one, it's not like my favourite place, and two, I feel like I've lived there and I've kind of like done that. Yeah. I think I'd like to live in equivalent, like an equivalent place to Beverly, but on the outskirts of a different city. Yeah, you know, what do you mean? maybe like York or like just experience something. Yeah, yeah different. different. Yeah, I'm glad I like moved out. Yeah, I've experienced like, not just Doncaster. Yeah, and I think that. I would probably stay northern, even though I always go on about how much I want to be nearer London. I think, like, I'm from Yorkshire, right? so I'm going to probably end up Born staying here. Yeah. <laughs> Alice has turned into Diva Alice. <laughs> Diva Alice has arrived. <laughs> what is your favourite YouTube event that you've ever been to? I don't really go to many, to be honest. Mine is Summer in the City two years ago. Not last really? Year. That was when it was your 18th birthday. Yeah, wasn't it? My 18th. Oh my god, yeah, that was so good. That was one of the best really days nice. of my whole life. That was. That was yeah. such a lovely day because we experienced it with you. An award on stage as well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. yeah, that was so good. Probably that. I think mine was probably the very first benefit event on the boat. Oh, yeah. Because I think I was like so shook that I actually ended up going that the whole night I was just like in awe. I was like, like was cool. so taken aback that things like that actually happened because that was the first one I'd ever been to that I just felt like really grateful and obviously I feel grateful when I'm at any of them but I think that was the first time I really appreciated like what it was. The vlog awards were so good like I felt so out of place I was like why am I here? You what? went with Brandon didn't you? Yeah me I and Brandon so went nice. we got all dressed up it was oh, like yeah, in the middle of so second cute. year like we matched his tie to my dress yeah. so yeah we're going again this year um right in the middle of uni again which is a nice change from uni but that was really cool and it was cool to see like different waves of what we do like it wasn't just really yeah. fashion blogging it was yeah. like really different things as well so that was really cool that, they're always nice to like meet other creators as well that do really different things mm. to you i think that's really nice yeah kate said which movie could you watch over and over again and not get bored of angus Lang's the perfect snuggie that's <laughs> such a good or film. wild child well i watched wild child the other day yeah, it's on netflix it. yeah they've added it to netflix they actually love it i think i'd have to say love rosie i think oh, i've watched that film, film so many times that i could just quote it pretty much word for yeah. word and i never i never not want to watch it mine would probably be elf yeah oh yeah, yeah. That's my favorite do you watch that when it's not christmas the yeah. end of the do you? Year, yeah. oh no what would you tell your younger self career-wise or relationships what advice would you give don't stress too much about like grades and mm -hmm. exams and like obviously it is important to a certain extent but even if it doesn't work out how you planned it it's something will work out yeah in the end, no matter what like i didn't go to uni straight away and i didn't think i was ever gonna and i didn't think i was ever gonna do anything as excited as i am now and here i am about to graduate so yeah things just kind of happen and yeah. work out i look back at like my even just like my year 11 self like obviously i in year 11 i was obviously stressed because of exams and stuff and like gcc's are the hardest thing you've ever done like at that point but now looking back i'm like i was so unnecessarily worked up and like stressed out it was just unnecessary so i yeah. think i'd probably just be like calm down enjoy being enjoy in school being, yeah. um even though i know in like three years time i'll tell myself that about now yeah, definitely. <laughs> it, it's just the way the world works, isn't it? Like, but yeah, probably that. And then, like, the other one, relationship. Like, yeah. I'd tell myself, like, stop thinking about it because I used to really worry that I'd never find someone. Like, oh. It's a genuine worry. I used to think about it so often, like, where am I going to meet someone? And then it just happens when you're not expecting it. Yeah, that's so true. People always tell you, like, oh, it happens when you're least expecting it. Yeah. yeah. And I remember I. I was like in year 11 and I was pretty adamant. I was like, I don't want a boyfriend, like blah, 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 yeah. all of this stuff. And then I met Tom at like prom and I just fully like, my brain didn't even clock onto it. I was like, oh yeah, I just met this lad and that was just where I left it. And I was like, just not expecting anything else to happen. And it kind of like, it didn't straight away, but like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's the best, best way. Yeah, definitely. Okay, we're going to do one more question before we get out and see Jade and the dog. Very excited. <laughs> Um, okay, if you could go on holiday together, just you three, oh. where would you go? We always like 
kind of fantasize about yeah. doing this because we want to but it's just so hard with money and time and i honestly like think about holidays so much yeah like i'd want to go on like an all-inclusive yeah just chilled like sitting by the pool or sitting by the beach cocktails you don't have cocktails, to worry about yeah. doing anything and like just doing yeah. everything yeah me too because we yeah. talk so much it would be so nice to like have a week where we just sit around the pool and just chat like, yeah that would be actually do so nice it's just talk because it's so funny i bet everyone else in the like resort would be so fed up with us just those three yeah. girls <laughs> haven't shut up for the full week <laughs> literally yeah. let's pay to go on holiday to have a chat yeah <laughs> basically yeah i think something like that would be amazing or i would really like to go to disney oh my god like hannah and i went to disney like when was that like 2016 yeah and that was like really really good but i think it would be so nice to go like the three of us yeah oh this yeah. village is cute the shop is there nice. but i need to find a parking but, like, cute. okay well basically we're here now so i'm gonna wrap this up and if you want to see more of our day you should definitely check out the vlog that went up earlier this week um make sure you subscribe to these girls their channels will be below and they vlog the weekend <laughs> I'll on parallel parking as well yeah and this vlog is just so weird <laughs> <laughs> parking um, I'm better at parallel parking than Molly is. Yeah, well, I mean, I have only parallel parked literally like twice, so. We're here. We're here. We're gonna go. Thank you very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this chat. Uh, I'm not really too sure, like, what we just talked about, just life and stuff. Like, I always film these videos, and then at the end of them, I'm like, what have I even just been talking about for the last 20 minutes? <laughs> I actually love watching them, though. I feel like they're yeah, really same. therapeutic. Yeah. Mm. Like, I'll watch them back while I edit, and I'm like, oh, this is just a nice conversation with my friends. Yeah. So yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having watching. us. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on Saturday with another weekly vlog. Bye. Bye.